Hello guys, welcome back to my channel software automation experience. My name is Altaf Sen Huddar. In today's video, I am going to help you about how to generate an HTML report from the JMeter test suit run. So this process does not need any extra script to be written and any extra step to be taken care post execution of the JMeter test suit run. So this will be uh, very straightforward. So as part of the JMeter execution only, we are going to create an HTML report and present it to the user. So, so first of all, uh, to show you how to achieve that, I have created a JMX called Facebook.jmx. This involves simple step to log into Facebook. Let me launch JMeter and show you what I have written inside this JMX file. So I'm going to launch it from this folder. The JMeter is loading. It's loaded completely. Now I will load this .jmx file into this JMeter 2. So where I have added thread group for Facebook which contains a preprocessor, an HTTP request and a post processor. Okay. It's a simple test case to log into Facebook. So what my preprocessor uh, contains? So it contains I am passing my username and password, my credentials basically from this preprocessor. So I have created a dummy account in Facebook with username Andy and the password Andy at one two three. So these these username and password I am passing as as a string to a string variable called credentials. And then I am storing these credentials into login details, another variable called login details using wires dot put statement. Okay. So my credentials are stored in a variable called login details so i am storing it as part of login details so that i can read this variable into my http request to make use of my username and password okay let me show you that how i am reading it in the http request i am passing facebook's protocol https and the server name that is www.facebook.com also the path to login to Facebook and Facebook also needs another variable called privacy mutation token as part of that the value passed will be the credentials login credentials that is the login details I am reading from the preprocessor I have stored these as vars dot put I am putting those values username and password into this variable to read that I am making use of dollar and curly braces so that I can read those values it is as good as vas dot get login details okay so next will be I am I have added a post processor where I am trying to read the response of the HTTP request to read that, I'll just import the basic functionalities, utility functionalities of Groovy to make use of Groovy script further okay, using groovy.util.star. So in the next line, what I'm writing is I'm making use of prim, which is an inbuilt Groovy function. So it in turn has few functions. It supports few functions such as get response data, string get response code, and all. So here I am just making use of brief and reading the response data as string and storing it into a string variable called a response. And in the next line, I'm trying uh, I'm trying to print that line using log.info and some string response is with using that variable value. Okay, so this will be printed which is there between the quotes 
and also the value of the response which I have read from the brief will be printed. Okay. And <clears throat> I have made use of the listener called view research tree where I am specifying what will be my result folder. Okay. So first of all let me make it so what I'll do is uh, I'll store this result as a CSV file. Okay, as a dot CSV file I'll store. So which will be easier for us to generate the HTML report out of this. Okay, so for that what I'll do is I'll first I'll store this result into a folder called uh, CSV result separately. I'll not keep it as part of the source folder. Okay. So yeah. I'll pass the same path here and we'll store the result.csv file in that folder. Okay. Let me execute this and show you whether this test case executes fine or not just clear it and then start so to see the logs you can click on this yellow triangular shape as you can see the request got executed successfully since it's a green color click on it to see what are the results of it okay we have got 200 okay as the response and this is my request facebook.com login participation username andy and password andy at 23 and this will be the response okay, which we got from facebook okay so we have printed this response as part of post processor in the logs that we can see here so as you can see in, as part of post processor we have this response is and the whole response got printed Okay. So now this test case is executing perfectly fine. So we need to execute, we need to generate an HTML report out of it. So how to generate that? So as you can see, we have that result got stored into result.csv file as well. Okay, I'll just open it and show you what and all has been return into that file as you can see this has been written as HTTP request one HTTP request has got executed and we got 200 okay as the response so what is the thread name of the Facebook and what is the URL we called and yeah so many things let and see so failure message connect if there is any failure message that will be printed here okay all those things are printing here is the timestamp okay this way the result got uh, returned into the result.csv file so now to generate uh, the HTML report from uh, this .jmx file we need to execute it from the non GUI mode so from the if we execute it from the UI mode, we can only generate the .csv or .gtl results. The HTML results prepare uh, generating HTML results is not possible by, by running it from UI mode. So let me go back and show you how we can generate it from command line and generate the. We can execute it from command line and generate the HTML report. Let me close this delete the log file so for that I will go to the command line command I will open command prompt from here and I will write the command to execute this test suit from the command line so how to execute any JM meter test suit from command line I have prepared one more video and uploaded. I will provide the link in the description. You guys can go and check that out. Okay. Where I have provided all the details of how to write the command and what each and every 
uh, aspect of the command meant for okay so let me write the command jmeter i am going to execute jmeter hyphen n means non gui mode hyphen t means i am going to pass the test plan name test plan name is facebook.jmx okay and hyphen l means i am going to pass the path of csv folder csv result folder along with the result.csv file name okay and hyphen e means to convert this result.csv whatever result we got into html report hyphen o means we need to pass the output folder where we want to store html report so for that i'll create one more folder called html report in jmeter source folder okay as you can see this folder is empty now let me pass the path of this folder to the command okay now execute this command by pressing enter key as you can see jmeter execution has been started and yeah as you can see there is 0% of errors and this we got executed and it's end of run the execution got completed so let me go back to jmeter source folder and show you what and all are the results you can see we have a result.csv file got generated open it and see there are requests which got executed facebook facebook.com with login credentials okay now i'll show you this is the csv file using which we have generated html report as well go to html report folder and see so since this folder was empty before we execute so now it has all these files okay this means that the HTML report got generated. Let me open it and show you. To open that, double click on index.html and see. As you can see, we have test and report information. Source file name we used was result.csv start time of this, end time of this, and we have request summary. So it means we have 100% pass, our request got completed executed successfully green means pass and red means fail okay so this way you can read the statistics of it the number of what what is executed http request number of samples executed was two and the failed was zero error was zero percent and everything was passed there was no failure hence error was zero percent average time taken was 3.3 seconds Minimum time taken is 3.3 second, maximum is this, median is this, 90th percentile also will be calculated automatically in the index.html file. So in the HTML report, that will be 3.32 second. This we can show the user that 90th percentile of all requests got executed with only 3.3 second time. Okay. So this way we can got uh, so many information from html report so we can also get the charts and throughput the response everything from this one so that will be by default generated as part of html report so yeah this is how we can generate an html report for hmeter test to run right? so if you have any queries any doubts you can write those into comments i'll try to resolve it and if you need any similar videos of any any topic on jmeter like if you face any difficulty to achieve your task or anything you can write into comment or you can directly message me i'll try to create videos for you and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel software automation experience and stay tuned till the next video 
थैंक यू